Hi there, this is Tony Shea from DigitalReadyMarketing.com. In this SEO analysis session number eight, we are going to take a look at KaiDesk. So KaiDesk is located in Tampa, Florida. It is a startup company that helps generating leads for other businesses. So if we mouse over and go over to their website, as you can see on their homepage, it explains uh, exactly how they can help you generate more leads. And actually, this is yet another WordPress site. If I type in wp-admin, it takes me to the WordPress login. So it's essentially a modified WordPress site. As you can see, or I should say customized WordPress site. And upon looking at their pages, so we use Screaming Frog, that's a crawling software. We found 179 pages. So this is when we send the crawler from their homepage and started crawling. Now, when we used Google's search operator, the site search operator, we found 428 pages. So it is likely that some of the pages that we could not find using Screaming Frogs uh, because the, the size structure, because of the size structure, they are not interlinked very well. So imagine a site as a tree structure. When I send the crawl down in from the top, it's not getting all the website because probably the size structure is not structured in a way that is like a tree structure. Uh, there could be other explanations, but without really investigating it, investigating it deeper, you cannot really tell what the reason could be. But as far as we can see, based on these numbers, that's most likely the explanation. Now let's move on to site architecture. Uh, we did not really find any major uh, issues. There are five pages with more than 100 uh, links. But other than that, uh, each pages have a unique URL. Uh, they seem to be up here static. Um, so they did not modify the WordPress to the extent that there is any a dynamic URL. And obviously this is not a retailer site. It doesn't really sell anything. It's essentially just a corporate, a business paid, a business website. So, you know, a lot of the default WordPress function is working here, as you can see. So WordPress is, is very well optimized for SEO and they, they definitely make a good choice using WordPress as their backend. And that really shows up here. Uh, we didn't really find much of a problem. And let me show you what looks like when I disabled uh, JavaScript and cookies so when I enter the site, again, I didn't really see any problems. Uh, this text links, the navigation links still work, as you can see here. And when I come back, the only thing that's uh, a little bit funky is the slider because he uses JavaScript. But other than that, uh, this is pretty much the same as with JavaScript enabled. So the site itself, the structure looks good. Everything looks good. Uh, didn't really find any huge problems based on the analysis that we did. And the site also used canonical tags, which is yet another uh, good point. And actually WordPress has few canonical, few plugins that allows you to, well actually more than few, they are quite a bit of plugins that you can choose from to apply the canonical tags. And that's yet another good point of using a WordPress as a backend. So the canonical tags is in place. A bit of 301 redirects, a few 302, which uh, without further investigation, I really cannot tell if they are losing some link juice there, but not too many, so that's good news. And it has robots.txt file, that's good. A uh, few concerning issues were some key SEO elements. So number of duplicate titles, there are eight. 
some titles are a little bit long so it appears as you can see on the screen if you're watching this video uh, it gets cut off a little bit and a lot of pages in fact based on this number it seems like most of the pages uh, on the site do not have meta description and it actually shows when I use the site operator as you can see here it seems like they are just the, the Google is just pulling the content from the site and use it as the meta description and it, as you can see it gets cut off it's not optimized it doesn't really shows um, you know so, sort of explains what the page is about in depth or entice people to click on that link because you can really modify the meta description uh, make it so call to action a call to action uh, text and, and make it enticed so that user will more likely to click on the link and that that's not being done here so that's something to call out from this analysis and again uh, another SEO element missing h1 missing h2 this could contribute to ranking so it would be nice to have them on these pages that are missing so that's something to think about now let's move on to other SEO considerations uh, page load time seven seconds so this is somewhat sort of now we, we, we do see these kind of things happening with the WordPress site uh, when when there are certain you know when you use certain number of plugins in that really box down make make the site loads a little bit slower the page size seems to be not too big uh, so overall if you look at the page speed it looks okay uh, page score for mobile a little bit low uh, possibly because of their lower the, the loading speed is contributing to that but further investigation is needed to find out exactly what's happening there but as far as the mobile optimization it is a responsive site so even let me drag this here and if I and as you can see here the site changes to responsive to mobile uh, size so it is responsive and there are some PDF files so there are, there are potential that they can apply uh, SEO optimization for the PDF files and they do not have any schema code so that's something they like that can add so that's pretty much it uh, for this analysis uh, to summar summarize it, it it looks pretty good overall since it's using a wordpress site um, compared to other wordpress sites they seem to be no, the, the the developer the person who developed this seems to be know what he or she is doing uh, but there are some SEO elements. It, this is more sort of once the content is created, uh, that they should really think about, you know, optimize all these elements to really uh, boost their ranking or whatever keywords that they are trying to target. So that's it for this SEO analysis. Uh, if you would like to get to this page easily, please uh, type digitalreadymarketing.com slash session eight and that will get you to this page and you can access the page the the analysis note here on digitalreadymarketing.com so that's it for this time i'll see you next time thank you